In the previous installment of our Atomic Red Team tutorial series, we walked through the installation process for Invoke Atomic on its own. Installing just the execution framework might be useful for certain users with certain use cases, but for most of us, we'll want to install both Invoke Atomic and the directory of Atomic test folders at the same time. And that's exactly what we're going to cover in this short video. To start, you'll want to launch PowerShell and head over to the Invoke Atomic installation instructions. The link to the installation page is included on the screen and in the video description for your reference. Once you're ready, all you have to do is copy the highlighted command from the installation instructions into your PowerShell terminal and run it. You'll notice the creation of an Atomic Red Team folder in your C drive. This is the default location for the Atomics directory. The process for installing Invoke Atomic on its own and installing it with the Atomics directory are nearly identical. All you have to do is add the get atomic switch to the invoke installation command and it will download the atomic test folders in addition to installing invoke. If you've already installed the atomics directory for some reason, then you may need to add the force switch to that command as well in order to overwrite the existing atomic test folders. Unlike installing invoke on its own, however, installing the atomics test folders takes a few minutes. You'll know that the installation was successful when the green Expand Archive Progress bar disappears and PowerShell informs you that the installation of Invoke Atomic Red Team is complete. You can double check by clicking on the Atomics folder. In it, you should see folders named for the MITRE ATT&CK techniques associated with the atomic tests within. 